So for the past couple of days, I've been working on this preset, trying to mimic Andy Timmons' rig. And as I was working through some of his sounds, I came across issues to where he was using pedals to push the front of his amp and then using his guitar volume to clean it up. And I found the quad cortex wasn't behaving exactly the, the, the way I needed it to. The, the volume increases and decreases were, were too big, bigger than you would get on, on the real amp. Mainly because the, the amp models aren't quite as good as a real amp in terms of having that sag or that compression to take the, the higher input and not have a higher output on the other end. And so I remember I saw a video from Rhett Shull a year or two ago where he walked through kind of techniques that you could use with modelers to make them feel more like a real amp. And one of the things he talked about was using a compression towards the end of your signal chain to kind of mimic some of the compression you would get from the amp. And so that's what I did here. I thought I'd walk through it. It might be useful. Um, this preset isn't fully complete yet. Uh, all the sounds aren't quite right. I will make it available if you want to download it and play with this. But I'll be set putting out updates to it over the next few days as I try to tweak the sounds. So if, if we look at it, you know, I've got a dual Lone Star uh, set up here as Andy uses. And here's the, the clean tone. So a little bit of bite to it. There's a, if you dig in, you might get a little bit of hair, um, but set pretty clean. And so the sound I was using was a uh, blues driver. Now he's got a Keeley Mata blues driver, and so I've had to tweak, try to tweak with the settings here because I don't have the high-low gain switch on there. But the one thing he generally does is he doesn't have a lot of gain on it, um, but he's pushing the volume quite a bit. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. And so when we add that in, at full volume on the guitar, it's, it's pretty hairy. <laughs> do was have it like his and have, if you roll back the volume of the guitar, it would just clean up and not lose a tons of volume. And the problem I was having is if I didn't have a compressor at the end, really loud, a lot louder than the clean tone. I was having issues balancing the different sounds. And so by adding this compressor, and I'm using the Legendary 87, uh, I tried a few of the other compressors. I found this one worked a little better. And I found this kind of restrains a little bit and, and makes the amp model kind of have that sag that a tube amp would have. So that's a full volume of my guitar, but if I roll it back a little bit... up and you get but in a pretty clean setting and I can always you know tweak the volume a little bit to get a little more bite So I find this solution has been working really well to kind of achieve this goal and make the AIM model behave more like I would expect a, a tube amp to behave. And so for different settings, you can see here I've got the, the ratio set to have kind of a scene specific settings. Uh, I find 12 works well. This I've got this the ratio set kind of high for this um, because I wanted more compression on this one. For a few of the other ones I've tried you can roll back the ratio a little bit to get a little bit less of a noticeable um, effect, but for this one, I've got it set at 12. So I just thought I'd share something that, you know, this was a new setup for me on the Quad Cortex, and I, I, I found it really helped make the, uh, you know, that 
this scene of the preset with with the blues driver work better. Um, and I'll I'll do a, a longer video kind of once the pre the whole preset I feel is in a good spot and uh, and go through each of the scenes on it. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.